Well, it's hard to believe, but we are just weeks away from kids heading back to school. In some cases, those schools have cancer causing radon gas. In May, a CARE 11 investigation found more than 80% of Minnesota schools were not following state and federal guidelines for radon testing. Tonight, an update on what's been happening over the summer to make sure our schools are safe. Investigative reporter AJ Legault has more on the findings in his investigation, Radon Roulette. A failing grade. That's how Carol Evan described what we found when, this past spring, we put Minnesota schools to the test. Governor Dayton was even harsher. You have some uh, hidden uh, uh, killer like this and, and have a school that's not even, not even bothered to test for it. It's just, just disgraceful. The hidden killer is radon. Such a health risk. Radon gas is a silent killer. The Minnesota Department of Health puts out PSAs like this. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. The state wants you to test your home, but we found the state failing to ensure schools were following EPA and health department guidelines. They call for testing every five years. Most Minneapolis schools had not been radon tested in more than 20 years. And we found other districts that had never tested. 84% of Minnesota school districts have reported doing no radon testing in the last five years. Is that accurate? That does sound accurate. Does that mean that there are schools where children are being exposed to this known carcinogen? It's possible. We, it's unknown. Lawmakers responded following that report, drafting a bill to mandate schools test for radon. These are things that, as parents, you should expect. But there were only days left in the legislative session, so it's on hold until next year. In the meantime, Governor Dayton vowed his administration would take action. Until uh, legislation can be passed. The commissioners of health and education issued a joint statement Friday describing steps underway this summer to improve safety by conducting proactive training sessions in school districts throughout the state. The latest health department data shows since CARE 11 first exposed the problem, nine additional school districts reported testing. That testing revealed 10 buildings with elevated radon levels, and so far, seven rooms have been mitigated. It's a start, but shows when it comes to radon in schools, the state has a long way to go before it can answer its own question. Is your family safe? That was AJ Legault reporting. Well, 80% of Minnesota counties are listed by the EPA as radon hot zones, and in some areas, three out of four homes tested come in above the action level.